All right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a very short and sweet tutorial on how to use Open Broadcast Software Studio or OBS Studio to make very high quality videos for YouTube. A lot of people ask me, how do I record my desktop? How do I record video games? Basically, OBS Studio is everything you need. Um, it's a great piece of software and it's completely free and very, very easy to use once you have it set up. So here is, um, here is OBS Studio. If you want to download it, you can go to obsproject.com and just download it from there. Uh, once you have it launched, it'll look something like this, although you probably won't see anything here. It'll probably be black. Um, but yeah, it'll be something like this without any sources. So what you want to do is you want to go to File and then go to Settings. I should mention that I'm not going to be going over the streaming settings. So if you want to know how to stream with OBS, I highly suggest um, looking up a different video. This is going to be for recording high quality video. Um, so the first two tabs, General and Stream, you can leave alone. The third tab is Output. You want to make sure the output mode is set to Advanced. And then you'll have three different tabs here. Uh, set it to Audio Track 1, Encoder X264. This is the best uh, video codec. So X, X264 is fantastic. And then at the bottom, you want to change it to CBR, bitrate 2500, um, CPU usage. Set this to very fast. It should be very fast by default. I have it to ultra fast, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, and then recording. It should look something like this. Make sure you set your recording path. This is where all the videos will be saved to. Make sure you pick a, uh, a spot on your hard drive that has a lot of space or whatever hard drive you're using. And then you want to change the recording format to MP4. I think by default it's set to FLV. Change that to MP4. And then, well, with MP4, you can set up multiple audio tracks if you want to separate the audio, which I'll explain a little bit further. But if you want to, you can set the audio, audio you can set it up so there's three audio tracks. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. You can leave it um, at one, but I set it to three. And then encoder X264. And then down here, change the rate control to CRF. Make sure the number is set to 18. And then on CPU usage, leave it at very fast. And I'm going to explain this right now. Um, this basically determines how much of your CPU will be used while recording the video to compress the file. If you set it to very fast, the video size will be relatively small. And but while you're recording, um, it's going to be using more of your CPU. And the problem with this is while you're recording with high-end video games, say like The Witcher 3, something that re requires a lot of CPU usage, if you set this to um, something slower, uh, basically it'll use up more CPU, and then the video game that you're playing won't be able to use that CPU in the game, and it'll lower your FPS. So if you want high FPS, I I highly suggest you change it to ultra fast. This unfortunately will make the video size very, very large. Uh, so you'll have to go back and do some additional compressing later, which I'll go over in a second. But for now, just leave it at very fast. Um, I'm going to change it to ultra fast just because I prefer using ultra fast, but very fast should be great for most people. Um, then you want to go to audio and you want to set your um, your speakers. I'm setting it to Realtek High Definition Audio, which is my computer sound card. Um, just whatever you're using, your headphones or whatever the audio is coming out of, make sure you pick that one, or you can just leave it at default. Um, and then you, you need to select your microphone. I'm using a Samson Meteor mic, but you can set, select your headphones or whatever microphone you're using, and then that's all you have to set there. And then video, uh, it should show something called output scaled resolution. This is the resolution of the video file. So I have a 1440p monitor, but I want the video file to be 1080p. So I'm downscaling the resolution to 1920 by 1080. You can also downscale it even further to like 1280 by 720, um, but I wouldn't go any lower than that. Um, I suggest either choosing 1920 by 1080 or uh, 1280 by 720. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know there. Common FPS values, make sure that's set to 30. And then for hotkeys, you want to set up two hotkeys, one for start recording and one for stop recording. I use Alt plus Q and Alt plus W, and that's all you have to set up here. Just make sure you click apply once you uh, set the hotkey. And then under advanced, make sure the process priority is set to high. That is very important because if you're playing a video game and it decides that it wants to use up like a ton, if it wants, if the video game wants to use up like all your CPU, then the video is going to get corrupted because there's not going to be enough um, 
resources left over to record the file. So just make sure the process priority is set to high and then the renderer set it to Direct3D 11. If you're using a Mac, you might want to set this to OpenGL. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I use Direct3D 11. It is a Windows um, render. Um, that's pretty much it. So I need to stop saying um so much. That's all the settings you need to know. Uh, I don't think I changed anything, but okay. Uh, hopefully this video um, will help you. Um, there's a few other things though that I completely forgot about. Uh, so your sources will be blank. What you want to do is you want to right click this little box here and click add and click display capture, game capture, and window capture. There's three different ones. You have to do this three times. So once you um, select one of these, just press OK, 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 and then it'll show up as your source. If you're recording a video game, what you want to do is you want to click this little eye here um, and then it'll show Actually, it's hard to do this while using OPS to record, but basically it'll show um, it'll show the video game that you're currently playing. If it doesn't show the video game that you have open, you want to right click uh, the game capture and go to properties and then click window. And then you want to select the EXE that the game is launched in. So the last video game that I played is a game called Pain Train. I would select Pain Train and then press OK. And then while the game is open, um, I can click this little eye and I can uncheck this display capture and it'll show me the video game footage and it won't show me the desktop anymore. Um, if you want to, if you want to record just the desktop, use display capture. If you want to record a certain window or like a certain tab, like YouTube or something, uh, I would suggest using window capture. So that's pretty much all there is to sources. Uh, there's one last thing that may be kind of important to some people. If you want to do something a little bit more advanced, uh, in your game capture, display capture, whatever, click filter, and then you want to right click this and add a color correction filter, and then change this to 0.1. This will make your recording a little bit brighter and have a little bit higher like color contrast to make it make the video look a little bit better. Sometimes OBS makes like video games and stuff a little bit darker than what you would see in person. So I like to give it a 10% a increase in gamma. Um, so Moving forward, on the right here is your audio. As you can see, this is my microphone audio going up and down. Uh, I can change this to lower the volume or raise it, depending on what I'm doing. Um, on the bottom is desktop audio. If I was playing a video game or playing like anything on my desktop, this bar would go up and down, and I can adjust that as well to change the um, audio for the recording. Uh, once you press this button, it'll start recording the button over to the right and once it starts recording this number will start going up you can also press alt q the hotkeys we set up earlier or to uh, start the recording and then this number will start rising or you can press alt w to stop the recording and then that'll finish um one last thing that is kind of a little bit more advanced if you go and click this button which is the mixer you can uh you can set the audio tracks. Before, if you remember, I told you you can set multiple audio tracks. This will let you split up the audio. So I guess I'll have to show you. Let me open a video real quick and I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, I, oops. What the heck was that? <laughs> well, that'll work. So here is a video um, that I recorded recently. Um, kind of an a, uh, outtake or whatever. Um, if I click this, you can see that there's multiple audio tracks. The first audio track combines the microphone and the game audio. The second audio track is just the game audio and not the microphone audio. The third track is just the microphone audio. So the reason why you would want to have multiple tracks is because sometimes video games, well, every video game has, or pretty much everything, well, basically every video game has a different volume. And if the volume is too loud, then it'll overpower my microphone and it'll overpower my voice. And if I record for like half an hour and then I, I look in the, the first track and I see that my voice is being completely overpowered by the game audio, I can go back and open like Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro and I can like mute the first track and then I can adjust the volume of the second and third track to even out the volumes so that it's bearable to watch um, or listen to. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is uh, click this button here on the mixer and then just copy my settings. Just press one, one, 
um, and then two and then three. And that'll make it so the second audio track is my desktop and the third audio track is my microphone. It's kind of a, a more advanced thing, but um, if you do it, it'll be very helpful in the long run if you're using other video editing programs. But you can record the video straight out of OBS directly to YouTube, which is usually what I do. Um, one last thing before I go, hopefully this all makes sense to you. I'm trying to uh, make it as short as possible. Uh, since I record in ultra fast, like in the encoding, to get the highest FPS while playing video games and recording, um, like what I was talking about here with the... Uh, the CPU usage preset is set to ultra fast. My recordings are pretty large in file size. And what I do to compress the files is I use a program called FreeMake Video Converter. This is a very, very easy to use program where you can uh, select something like this. How large is it? It's five gigabytes. If I open this up, it's a, uh, let's see. How long is it? 27 minutes and it's five gigabytes. I can uh, open it up in FreeMake Video Converter and just say 2MP4, and it'll convert it to one gigabyte, and it won't affect the video quality very much at all. Like, I can hardly notice any difference in the video quality between the five gigabyte version and the one gigabyte version. This basically just compresses the file and makes it a lot easier to upload. I have a very, very low upload speed, so I have to do that on every single one of my videos. Uh, my upload speed is like one megabit per second, which is completely terrible. Um, but yeah, that's video. That's a free make video converter. It's a free program as well. Just search that up on Google. And that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Hopefully this helps you a little bit. Uh, I know a lot of people out there use outdated uh, video recording programs like Camtasia and uh, I don't even remember the others. There's others that are just so dated. Um, I highly suggest using this for every single PC game and for recording your desktop. Um, it's a great piece of pro it's a great piece of software that's completely free, and uh, I don't know what I would do without it. So, uh, hopefully, if you're getting into recording um, video games or if you haven't done it before, maybe this will help you get into it. Once you have everything set up, it's very easy to use. All you have to do is open up the program and press Alt Q or Alt W to start and stop recording, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, I guess one tip before I go is before you start recording uh, videos, uh, you should make like test vid like test recordings. Before I make like a game recording, what I do is I uh, like record for a few seconds while talking, like test one, two, test three, four, um, and then I'll listen to the video and I'll see if the audio matches up with the game audio. And if it doesn't, then I'll adjust the desktop audio and make the game a little quieter or a little louder, depending on what game it is. And then once I get it all set up, then uh, once I record the video, I won't have to do any editing and I can just record directly to YouTube without having to waste time uh, editing or rendering out the video, which is great. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I could ramble on for a lot longer, but hopefully this makes sense to you. If not, uh, I suggest just going back to the video and copying all my settings, and then hopefully it, it all works out in the end. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel, and have a nice day.